Wait, hey, take like two more scoops back, so scoops back, so I could have uh, some. All right, here's the next one. Once I get this half Nelson, I can also do an arm bar. Before we were doing a hook. What's the difference between a hook and an arm bar? A hook is I have the wrist and I come inside. I am inside going to the outside. Um, if I get the half Nelson and I want an arm bar, once I've got all the weight on the head, my elbow is going to go in, inside his bicep or outside his bicep, and then I am going to scoop and I have an arm bar. Now I want you to understand the difference. If I have a half Nelson arm bar, I do not want to see the nip of his elbow. I can't see it. That is going to make the difference of it being tight and holy shit tight. <laughs> now, if it is tight and he's a warrior, he is going to fight. If it is holy shit tight, that means the only thing going through his mind is holy shit, Rip, will you freaking call the All right? So, what we want to do, once we've got this half, we do not want to see the nip of that elbow. Now, that's if I have the half. If my primary move is the arm bar, I do want to see the nip of that elbow. Because I'm going to take the nip of that elbow, I want to place it in my sternum and drive this elbow up through his shoulders, through his ear, through his skull, through the mat. But, since my half Nelson's a primary move, I want to bury the nip of the elbow to make it holy sheep tight. Okay? So, again, I've got this half, all my weight's on his head, now I can scoop at the on and by. <laughs> now, once I've got this, I can drive him up at 11 o'clock, far shoulder down, right hip down. Dave, can you go anywhere? I think that meant no. Now, <laughs> Sometimes you might wrestle somebody who doesn't want to get pinned. Can you believe that? Now, how many guys have wrestled guys that didn't want to get pinned? Raise your hand. What's that all about? That's ridiculous. So, then why are they out there? They can't be thinking they're going to win. Okay? So, here's what I'm going to do. If this guy doesn't want to get pinned the way I want to pin him, and he wants to pin himself, Remember, he's done a lot of stupid things all day anyway. He probably thinks he's going to get the pin on his record. <laughs> Not going to happen. All right? So I've wrestled a lot of stupid guys. And when I put the half on it, they're like, no, I'm going to pin myself this way. Oh, okay, but we That's fine. You can pin yourself any way you want, but it still goes on my record if it looks like I was on top. Okay? So I'm on top. I've got this arm bar. I go to drive him. He starts clamping down heavy on his right side. Thing. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I go, but I am stronger. He goes, I don't think so. I go, yes, but I'm a fat guy. He goes, but I'm a skinny guy with muscles. I go, that's too bad. So if I'm ever driving this guy and he doesn't want to get pinned and he wants to wing down, I put my left knee in front of his right knee or my near knee in front of his near knee. And as he wings down and clamps that elbow, I'm like, oh, you want to get pinned that way? Let's go. Right here. Can you go anywhere? All right. So. I don't care how he wants to get pinned. That's fine. So I can take him at 11 o'clock or I can take him at 1 o'clock if he tries to clamp down. Now sometimes maybe you might wrestle somebody and maybe you know like the guy. <laughs> and if you know like the guy, what I'm going to have you do is you are going to take at his head, you are going to stuff it up between his legs and tell him to kiss his ass goodbye. Okay. So, I've got the hat, I've got the arm bar, just like it is. He wants to clamp down here, he says, I'm not getting pinned. <laughs> Bullshit, right over the top. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you have your choice. You can track the guy at 11. If he wings down, you block his near knee with your near knee and you pull him at one. If you know like the guy, you take him straight over at 12 o'clock and introduce him to his little friend. <laughs> so, I've got the hat, I've got the arm bar. Here, I'm gonna boss. If I drive far shoulder down, I circle, 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 right hip down, he's pinned. If I've got, once I'm in here, if he clamps down, my knee right here is a pivot point for him to rotate over. Let me borrow this half a second. Make believe this is my half. Now I'm going to crank him. He says, I don't think so. And I want to crank him. He goes, I don't think so. That's telling me he wants to get pinned going in that direction. That's fine. Being 
nice gene, the pinning machine that I am. I pull him the way he wants to go, near shoulder, hip into him, far shoulder, and then <laughs> that pin goes on my record. All right? But if I don't like it, he got it. I take him straight over his head, but I only take him straight over his head if he's trying to clamp down or I rip his shoulder out. All right? You don't want to hurt anybody. It's one thing giving them legal intense pain and making them feel uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. <laughs> That's fine. But you don't ever want to hurt somebody or injure somebody. All right? You can hurt their pride all you want. That's fine. But not their body. All right? You, want, you would want them to respect your body. You respect theirs. The only time I will take the guy at 12 o'clock is if he's clamping down because he's telling me he doesn't want to get turned, which is bullcrap. Then I, I can take him over without him getting hurt. All right, but if he's got his arm out there and I go to take him, ah, and I want to rip his shoulder out, I just want to pin him. So I, I can pin him the other way. He's got his arm up over his head, I take him at 11, I pin him, it's, everything's good. All right, so I'm in here. I've got this arm bar. If he clamps his elbow down, I can take him straight over the head, right to there. Is that tight? <laughs> so with a half Nelson arm bar, make sure you do not see the nip of that elbow. If you do see the nip of the elbow, it'll be tight. He might be able to bridge a little bit. You should still be able to pin him. It just won't be holy shit tight. And you can take him at 11, block this knee, pull him at 1, or take him straight over the top. Any questions with the half Nelson armbar? Break up and pin your partner, go.